previous lesson, we've learned how to compute for the least squares regression line or the linear model of our explanatory and response variable given by list 1 and list 2. So in this particular um, situation, we can compute for the linear model using our TI-84 and producing the value of the slope and the value of the y-intercept. Now, not all cases will give us this particular type of questions in solving or computing for the LSRL. We have two other ways on how to compute for the LSRL in two given or two different situations. The second situation is that the problem that will be given to us is just the numerical summary and the correlation of the two quantitative data sets. So we're not going to see the lists, but this time we will be seeing numerical summaries such as the mean and the standard deviation of the EV and the mean and the standard deviation of your EV or response variable. Also, you will need to have your correlation in solving for the LSRL or com computing for the least squares regression line of this particular model given this situation. And the third situation of finding or computing for the LSRL is given by the computer generated output, usually from Minitab and JMP. So in this lesson, we're going to work on situation number two and situation number three in solving or computing for the LSRL. Now in computing for the LSRL given the numerical summary, we will be using a formula in finding the slope and the y-intercept. And in finding the slope of the relationship, all we need to do is to use this formula, which is R times SY all over SX, where R is the correlation and SY and SX is the standard deviation of the response variable and the explanatory variable. After computing for the slope, we can compute for the y-intercept by using the formula mean of y minus b times the mean of x or the mean of the explanatory variable. Now, once again, to be able to use this formula, we need to, ha to have this five numerical summary from our given problem, which is the mean and the standard deviation of the explanatory variable, the mean and the standard deviation of the response variable, and their correlation. Now for this problem, let's have this word problem wherein Harley is curious about the relationship between the person's foot length in centimeters and height in centimeters. So from a random sample of 15 students in Barstow High School, the mean and the standard deviation of their foot lengths are recorded as 24.76 centimeters and 2.71 centimeters respectively. Now the mean and the standard deviation of their heights are 171.43 centimeters and 10.69 centimeters respectively. Now the calculated correlation is also given which is R equal to 0.697. Now given these numerical val value, let's find out what will be the equation of our least squares regression line for predicting the height given the foot length. Now we're going to use this formula in solving or computing for our LSRL based on our given data set. Now to summarize the given word problem, we are given the EV or the explanatory variable which is our foot length with the mean and the standard deviation right here and the response variable is the predicted height which is given by the mean and the standard deviation of RV. The correlation needs to be given as well and R in this problem is 0.697. Now to compute or calculate for the least squares regression line so we can predict or we can use that linear model in predicting the height of some certain individuals, we will use the formula that I just showed you from the previous slide. So to compute for the slope, which is B equals R times SY all over SX, we'll have 0.697, which is the given R multiplied by 10.69 divided by 2.71, which is the standard deviation of your RV all over your EV. Now, the slope is given by 2.75 based from the formula that we have used. So now we can 
find our y-intercept by using the value of our slope in the formula. So to find the y-intercept, we need the mean of rv minus the product of the slope and the mean of the explanatory variable. So we have y-intercept is equal to 171.43 minus 2.75 times 24.76. So now we have our y-intercept given by 103.34. So now that we have the two important values for constructing or writing our linear model, for this particular word problem, our predicted height will be equal to 103.34 plus 2.75 times the foot length in centimeters based on the five numerical summary that was given to us in our problem. So this one is the second type of computation in finding the LSRL given the numerical summary. Now for the third example, we will be using a computer-generated output to be able to produce our linear model. Now these are the two um, computer-generated output that you might see or encounter when asked to find or compute for the least square regression line of our um, two quantitative data sets. So this one is from Minitab and you will see that the first value which is the predictor constant is your y-intercept and the miles driven which is just an example is your value for the slope. So you will only see two values from that particular column and you should remember that the one with the constant will be your y-intercept and the other one will be your slope. Now the two other important values that you could use in Minitab or from, the, from Minitab would be your r-squared which is 66.4% in this particular um, set of values and you can find the r-value by taking the square root of r-squared in this computer generated output. You will also see the standard deviation of the residuals which is given by the capital letter S and we will use that in the future. Now for the second type of computer generated output we have the JMP output and you will see that the slope in the y-intercept for this computer generated output is right here at the bottom which is given by the term inter intercept which is that value and the miles driven will be your slope which is you can see from uh, your um, screen which is 0 point or negative 0 0.1629 so these are the two computer generated output that you might use in finding or com computing for the least square regression line of a given problem. So let's have our first example using this computer generated output. Now from this computer generated output we have this table that describes a study of some recorded data for uh, the number of beers consumed and the blood alcohol content for 16 students. Now these are the values that we are seeing and if you will notice these outward computer output is from Minitab. So if we're going to write the equation for the least squares regression line using this computer output it would be easy because all we need to have is our A and B and once we have our A and B or the y-intercept and the slope, we'll be able to write our um, LSRL based on this um, computer output. Now from the computer generated output, we know that the slope is given by 0 0.0179 which is at the bottom of the first column of the numerical summary that we are seeing and the y-intercept which is the predictor constant is given by negative 0 0.0127 so now that we have our slope in the y-intercept we can now write our LSRL so we could predict the blood alcohol content given the number of beers for this particular linear model. So BAC or predicted BAC is equal to negative 0 0.0127 plus 0 0.0179 times the number of beers which is based out of the minute of out output that we saw from uh, the previous word problem. So this is now our computed linear model 
from Minitab. So